So I want to show you labeling a civil 3D object through an XREF. Uh, we have no data shortcut in this file. We have no live data, as, as you can see, no surfaces in here. Um, so nothing live in the file. It's strictly an XREF. Uh, everything's external referenced in there. Uh, and we want to label the surface. You know, a lot of people want to label it uh, in their sheets and not in the base file, if, if you must. Uh, so one way with Civil 3D 2011 is just to label it directly in the sheets. Uh, so I'm going to go up to surfaces, you know, add surface labels, and I want to add in some spot elevations. And again, I don't have um, I don't have anything in this drawing but an XREF. Keep that in mind. So just going to hit add, and it's going to ask me to select my surface. So it's actually reading through that XREF. So I can come in there, pick this surface. I can label up my TVCs. Uh, put in my spot elevations wherever I want. Keep coming down here, let's just add some more. And keep labeling it. So I can add my, my contour, my, or my spot elevations, my slope. Just picking the surface. And so I can quickly and easily come in here and label this without having to create a data reference or a, uh, you know, a lot of, some people even XML their surface in here, which isn't a good idea. But uh, if I don't want, you know, keep your file sizes down because you don't have that live information. It's just in an extra. Uh, you can just pretty much label anything and everything associated with it, whether it's an alignment, um, surfaces. But again, just, in, just another way to, to add productivity to your, uh, project and and they are dynamic. So as this XREF changes, um, it's it's also changed in your your labels. So everything's dynamic. Nothing's live in this drawing except for now the labels.